What's up guys? In this video, I want to make a Malaysian style fine spice meat roll called Loba. And I believe most Malaysian might have tried this before. However, for those who have not tried it before, it is meat rolled in binka skin seasoned primarily with Chinese fine spice powder and deep fried until crispy. It's a famous treat food in Malaysia that you can get in every nook and corner. But how about if you want to make it yourself at home? This process is relatively straightforward and I'll show you step by step in this video. So let's get started right now. First cut the pork into slices. Then into small dice. I'm using pork shoulder loin. It is important to choose pork with some fat so that it tastes better. If you like to have more fat, you can choose pork belly instead. If you want to save time, you can purchase the ground meat from your butcher. But the mouthfeel is not as good as if you cut it this way. After that, mince the pork for a while. And then transfer the pork to a mixing bowl. You can use pork alone or you can substitute part of the pork with stream as what I'm doing now. Alternatively, if you do not eat pork, you can substitute the pork with chicken breast meat. Just a rough cut will do. When you finish cutting the stream, put it together with the pork. Chop some garlic. Garlic is not essential, but I would like to add some to enhance the flavor. Also, dice one medium-sized onion. Then add the garlic and onion to the shrimp and pork. The last ingredient is water chestnuts. Just like other ingredients, cut it into small pieces. Place all the ingredients in a mixing bowl and now we season these ingredients with the following seasonings. Five spice powder, Salt, sugar, white pepper, light soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, one egg, and some all-purpose flour to bind all these ingredients together. It is easier to mix everything together by hand. Okay, it's thoroughly mixed now. So I will leave it in the refrigerator for half an hour to marinate it. And meanwhile, I will move on to the next step, that is to cut the bean curd skin. This is the bean curd sheet that I have. Open the bean curd sheet on a large surface. Cut the bean curd sheet into small pieces, about a size slightly larger than your palm, preferably a, a rectangle. So I'm going to follow the fold lines to cut it. Since the bean curd sheet is quite brittle, so I'm going to use a brush to apply some water on it to soften it before I use it to wrap the stuffing. 
After applying the water, now it becomes very soft. And I've mixed some thick cornstarch slurry and I'm applying it on all the sides, all four sides. It acts as a glue so when I deep fry the binker sheet roll afterwards, it will not open up when I deep fried it. Next, put the stuffing on it and uh, leave some space on both sides and then you roll it up like making Swiss roll. Roll it up tightly. And then press down both sides to seal up the stuffing inside. Now it's ready to deep fry. Deep fry at medium heat, about 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Deep fry in small badges. Leave some space in between so that it is able to overturn it and deep fry the other side so that to make sure that both sides are golden brown. It is important not to use high heat because if you use high heat, the bean cut sheet will turn golden brown before the stuffing is cooked. Turn over to deep fry the other side. When the lower bark has turned golden brown and turned crispy, remove it from the pan. Let me cut the log bark and show you how it looks inside. Since the log bark is quite crispy and dry, the local people would like to serve it with a dipping sauce. Here's how to make it. About half cups of water. Add a teaspoon of Five spice powder, about two teaspoons of sugar, a tiny bit of salt, and darken the color with some dark soy sauce. Bring it to a boil. and then thicken with cornstarch slurry. So here's the cornstarch slurry. So that's the sauce for the loba. That's how to make loba, the typical Malaysian style five spice meat roll in bean curd sheets. It's a typical Malaysian street food. I've included the recipe in the description below the video and don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.